To learn more about all the sports opportunities for athletes here at GB, I'm going to talk to Bree Slager, sports coordinator. Hi, Bree. Thanks for coming. Hi. So can you tell us a little bit about your role and what it is you do? Yeah. So as a sports programs coordinator, I work with our club sport athletes, uh, club sport coaches, and then our intramural participants. And then we also have student staff that oversee a lot of our events and practices that we have going on. Um, in a typical day, I do everything from logo requests and designs, website maintenance, um, to helping clubs budget, purchase items, travel plans, um, anything they could need, I try to help them as much as possible. So what opportunities are there available to athletes here at GB? Yeah, so intramural sports are free for this semester right now um, for all students, but they're open to all students all year round. Um, and we do a variety of sports from soccer and basketball to different things like spike ball and cornhole. So it's really open to any student to come play, uh, try a different sport. And then we have 50 plus club sports available. Um, and those range from your typical uh, baseball and hockey to your not so typical Quidditch, uh, mm. Degarier and synchronized skating. What's the main difference between club sports and intramural sports? So club sports are competing against other universities. Mm. Uh, they're competing for national championships. They're traveling. Uh, they're doing things like fundraising um, and trying to get those transferable skills versus intramural mm -hmm. sports is just GV students playing with GV students, faculty and staff, just trying new sports and just having a good time to win a t-shirt. What do you think the benefit is of being involved in club sports or sports programming? Uh, for club sports, it's definitely those transferable skills that I mentioned earlier. So you learn how to budget, you learn how to talk mm -hmm. to your peers, uh, and you can take those into your future career path and really use those to your advantage. I was a club sport athlete in undergrad, and I use those skills every day, um, mm -hmm. even not in the higher education, but outside as well. Um, different things like talking to individuals, giving presentations, um, recruiting. I mean, they are jack of all trades within mm -hmm. everything that they do. What sports did you play? I was an equestrian athlete, so oh. I rode horses. What did you learn from that experience or gain from that experience? I definitely learned uh, to be flexible, go mm -hmm. with the flow. Uh, collegiate equestrian is a little bit different where you draw a horse out of a bucket and you get on it. It's not your own, so you kind of mm. just go with the flow and have to figure it out and be the best that you can. Very cool. Are all of these opportunities tryout based? How do you get involved in these? Yeah, so the best way to get involved is to go to www.gbsuclubsports.com. Mm -hmm. There's a recruit me form on there that you can fill out and that goes to all the coaches and captains of the teams to let you know what's going on. Most teams are tryout based, but that's more because of their league requirements for their rosters. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times they'll have a competitive roster and then a roster of students that maybe can't travel because they're in the nursing program and they can't mm -hmm. be in extended stays or for students that maybe financially can't handle the burden of trying to pay for a competitive season, but they can still participate in practice teams or be involved in volunteer basis. All right, well, is there anything else you'd like to add about sports or any advice for those who are looking to get involved? Definitely ask to get involved and talk with coaches, talk with participants. Um, club sports are really open and we have a ton of sports that individuals have never played before or tried and they try at Grand Valley and they go to have either professional careers. We've had a rower go on to the Olympics that never rowed wow. before. Wow. Um, so it's definitely an opportunity to try something that you've never tried before. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, Bree. Thanks for talking with us. Yeah, thank you guys.